All right, guys, welcome back. Chief Kirk, Carbology. So this week I have something really exciting for you. It's, it's a new fix to an old problem. Um, and it, we, we kind of stumbled on this. I was working in my garage, in a, my garage dojo last week with some people doing some nice stuff. And we figured out a way to teach people how to do a right straight punch, specifically so that the straight punch goes straight to target. There's no loading, there's no telegraphing, either in the formation of the punch or as the elbow rolls out. Uh, during the actual process of the punch. So stay with me, you're gonna like this. It's really cool. All right, so you can see I brought James in with me. Today, we're talking about something we kind of discovered during a knife seminar. And one of the basic things we do with knife, um, when we're talking about defensive knife, is we put a knife in somebody's hand, we typically do tip down blade forward, and we get in a fighting stance and we start throwing combinations with the knife. And the way that we hold the knife is we, we actually tilt the knife, if you can see this, this way, so that there's sort of a bend in our wrist. And it allows the blade to flow straight down towards the floor, and sort of per perpendicular to the floor. And we hold it away from our face, we don't do something like this. So this is our fighting stance. What I noticed when we started the, the seminar was there were a, a fairly large sample of people that were from different um, backgrounds and had different levels of training with us. Well, the thing I noticed is when I asked them to hold the knife this way and punch with their right hand, everyone made a very nice right straight punch. Uh, each person that was punching um, didn't do any loading and didn't have the elbow flipping out during the punch with both being telegraphed. It was also very efficient, very straight, and allowed their body to get in behind the punch. So we started doing this in class, and what we found was when we asked people to do this for whatever reason, uh, the punch becomes much better. So for you, uh, what I'm going to suggest you do is um, put a knife or a dowel rod in your hand, make it parallel, uh, uh, perpendicular to the floor, not parallel, perpendicular to the floor, get in your fighting stance, and there's a two-step process. One is to dump the thumb, and two is to punch. So I'm going to give the knife to James, and I'm going to say, dump, punch, dump, punch. We're going to do two steps. So he's going to get in the fighting stance. There you go. And I'm going to put my hand up like a focus mitt, and I'm gonna say dump, punch. Good, go back. And every time I want his elbow to be in as tight as it can be, and I'm gonna dump means dump the thumb down. Dump, punch, okay? Do one more time, dump, punch, good. And I can see from my perspective his punch is coming straight in, which is really important with a right straight punch. There's no telegraphing at all. Now I'm just gonna say go, 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 or up, 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 whatever your command is, and I'm gonna ask him to dump the thumb as his hand travels quickly, into what would be a focus mitt. So we're in this position now, and I'll say, up, oh, good, go back, in here, up, oh, good, one more time, nice and close, up, oh, good, switch sides with me. So you can see from this side, as he makes his, makes his uh, fighting stuff with the knife, there is this kind of this arc in the hand, it's not uncomfortable, but it might feel gawky, but it's, it's creating a, a position for us that's helpful. So I'm gonna do a two step on this side, dump, punch, good, go back, dump, punch. Good, one more time, dump, punch, good. And then I'll ask him, make sure you keep your elbow in, nice and tight, we'll do a couple punches, we're not, we're not rushing right now, punch, good, punch, good, turn the thumb quicker, punch, there you go, punch, one more, turn the thumb, punch, good. And you can see that his right straight punch is very, very efficient. One of the things we do here at the school is we try to create an efficient movement. Uh, Things will get bigger, they will get wider, uh, you will be under stress during a violent attack. So the more efficient you can make your uh, defense and your defense is, uh, the better off you're gonna be. Try this with your partner, try this in your school. I think you'll be shocked by how good punches look. Last thing you can try is get them in a fighting stance, make sure this is perpendicular to the ground, and throw a one, two, three, four, and see how good these punches look. Uh, coming out of people that ha don't have a lot of experience or that have had problems in the past in making an efficient punch. I know you're going to like it. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to Cryology. Also, drop down, there's a box. If you want to ask a question or send us a comment, please do. Again, thanks for watching and walk in peace.